You're probably familiar with the gray bin and the blue bin, but today we'll be talking about the green bin. If you live in a larger city in Marion County, odds are you have a mixed organic bin at the curb. You can mix compostable food scraps as well as yard waste in this bin. I wanna talk about one of the most environmentally beneficial actions we can take around materials, and that's reducing food waste in the first place, or eating your food before it goes to the green bin. Food takes a massive amount of energy, resources, transportation, and water to make. So when we're not able to eat our food, we waste those resources in the process. So let's talk food waste prevention tips. Number one, store your food, vegetables, and fruit appropriately. Keeping things fresh until you need to eat it, freezing it to make it last longer, or reusing it in many different types of seasonal dishes. That takes me to tip two, eating seasonally and locally. That helps us reduce the impact of transportation, energy and resources used, supports our local agricultural community, and ensures your food is a little bit more fresh too. And number three, planning your meals accordingly. So having a shopping list at the beginning of the week to make sure you get the right ingredients. For folks with just yard debris service, this cart can only take things like yard trimmings, leaves, twigs, weeds, and grass clippings, no food. To learn more about what happens to your yard waste when it leaves the curb to be processed into compost, a soil amendment that can help your plants grow. We'll be exploring one of those facilities called Browns Island, where our yard debris goes to be made into compost. We're here at Browns Island to learn how your yard debris is made into compost. I'm here with Andrew Johnson, Operations Manager for Marion County Public Works. So what do you do here, Andrew? So we accept all of the yard debris, grass clippings, tree trimmings that gets brought into both our Salem Kaiser Recycling Transfer Station and the North Marion Transfer Station, as well as from other public entities like City of Salem, the Parks Districts, and uh, the school districts as well. How many tons or yards are you getting of yard debris? A little over 30,000 yards a year. Can you talk a little bit, you know, we have this going on behind us, about sort of how that yard debris is turned into compost here at Browns Island. So once we get a full batch of compost or green stock as we call it, they'll grind that up and then we place it in these windrows. And then we add water and then we wait for the temperature of the composting process to come up to above 130 degrees. And then we start turning them and that aerates it and increases that process. And then 30 to 90 days later, we end up with a, a cooked compost and then we screen it and end up with the finished product. Right, and so what are you sort of getting? Is it sort of like a thin or loamy material? Is it brown sort of as we know compost? Or what does it look like at the end? It's pretty brown. It's just kind of a mulchy material that's uh, just a great organic matter to put in, amend your soil or put around your flower bed. Just a great all around use. Right, so we're able to reuse those materials, put them to good use for our plants um, and keep those materials materials and the processing here local to Marion County. That's exactly right. Awesome, thanks Andrew. Thank you. In terms of environmental bang for your buck, there's not much more you can do than reducing your food scraps and, when possible, composting your yard debris. But if you want to learn more, help your community, take the Marion Resources Movement class to learn how you can think about food waste, reducing it, and reusing materials like yard debris in your daily life. Also, for more information on our disposal and composting, visit mcdisposal.net. Thanks, Andrew. Hey, thanks for coming out, Dakota.